Hi everyone. I thought since it was the beginning of Holy Week, it might be nice um, to give you some ideas of things that you could do to create a little worship space in your house. Um, we aren't able to gather together in person to share in the worship services that we traditionally have during Holy Week, but we will be providing you with some resources so that you can worship in your homes. Um, we'll be sending out something for Maundy Thursday. Um, that's a service where traditionally we celebrate the Last Supper um, and then on Friday we will have a worship service online at 7 p.m. for Good Friday um, and then of course we'll have our Easter worship at 10 a.m. on Sunday but in the meantime we thought it might be nice if you uh, could set up some space in your homes where you could take the time to pray or to meditate, to reflect, to listen to that still small voice of God that seems so elusive during these times. You know, you don't have to do anything really elaborate to create a space for worship. Um, it can be something as simple as having a few candles, maybe taking your Bible and opening it up to a favorite passage and having it lay open. You could have a bowl with a little pitcher of water next to it to symbolize the waters of life. Um, there are a number of different things you could do. I personally have most of my quote-unquote worship materials at the church, so I thought it would be an interesting challenge for me to figure out how to set up a worship space in my home when all of the things that I would use for worship are not actually in my home. So I purposely left all of those things at the church and just came up with something out of what I had in my house. So I'll show you the space that I chose um, for my worship space. I'll show you what it looked like before and keep in mind I have a toddler so there is not a single part of my house that is not cluttered at the moment. Um, but I'll show you what it looked like before and then I'll show you some of the things I did to transform that space to make it a place where we could reflect and pray during these times. This is what I'm starting with, but I've decided this may be the best place in my house for us to create a worship space. I'm imagining a little table or something with a cloth on it, some candles. I might put some books that are good for reflecting. I may put a little Bluetooth speaker in here that I can play some music on but I'm not gonna have any screens in this space this will be a space that is a screen free zone so I just thought I'd let you all see it before I transform it here is my worship space that I created from what I could find in my house over here I have some books that carry within them some good messages. I have books for Dietrich and I also have books for Travis and me. On the bottom shelf I have some coloring books along with some pencils. Um, I find that when I'm feeling really anxious and unsettled just sitting down and coloring for a little while can help me still myself and still my spirit um, and kind of facilitate prayer to God as well. Um, I do want to show you up here on the top shelf, I have a little book that was made for me uh, by Sue Nevat. Um, Sue and Susan gave it to me for Christmas a couple of years ago, and it's pictures of our kids at Brentwood Christian Church, and so I treasure that book, and that's a way that I can really be remembering those I'm not able to physically gather with while I am in this space. I have some artwork over here as well. The Be Kind tray is something that I made with friends. And then I have a couple of pieces of art over here. This photograph is one that Travis took at St. Joseph's Catholic Church. That's a statue of Mary. And then down here I have a piece of art. It's a painting of a church in Oaxaca, Mexico. Um, that I purchased on a trip to Mexico with my family. Wow. 
got in this and then um, rocking chair that was given to me by Mark Hicks and Sherry Lee. So that's another um, example of something that reminds me of all of you at Brentwood and helps connect me to you during this time. And then here in the center, I have my altar or my focal point for worship. Um, I wanted to have purple because we're in the season of Lent. I have a candle in the center. I chose a candle that um, would have a flame that was protected, so it would be harder for Dietrich to get to. I have a chalice um, that has music notes on it. It was given to me by my sister-in-law and brother. Um, I also have a rock that has the word faith on it. Lily Snyder gave that to me. And then on this table that I have down here, I have this table here um, so that when we do Maundy Thursday worship, it'll be a place that Dietrich, Travis, and I can sit around. Anyway, these are some different things that I pulled together so that I could create this worship space. This wall over here is blank. I'm thinking that maybe I'll have Dietrich help me um, with some art that we can put on the wall. So this is a space that can be evolving over the next few weeks um, because I know it's going to be a little while longer before we are able to worship together. So this just gives you an idea of something that you might be able to put together in your own home. It doesn't need to take up a lot of space. So hope this inspires you. So I hope that helps give you some ideas of things you could do in your home to create sacred space. I just thought I would mention, I didn't put any new holes in my walls. I just put those pictures up on the walls where I already had nails. So um, don't think that you have to go changing everything about how you decorate your home in order to create this space. You can just make things work with what you have. So anyway, I know that it is hard for us to be worshiping apart at this time. And I hope that um, finding ways to create that sacred space in your homes will help you get through this time and remind you that you are not alone and that you are loved beyond your wildest imagination. Thanks be to God.